Okay, so it has been a pretty prevalent pattern over the past few days that we are making these trade return finalized videos, taking a look at draft picks in the 2022 draft that are attached to prior trades. This is a pretty interesting discovery to make when you acknowledge how exactly some of these trades went with hindsight, and for trades like these between the Islanders and the Colorado Avalanche, it kind of puts on a picture as to how bad things really were for one of the teams involved. This is the second time we are talking about the Devon Taves trade, which sent defenseman Devon Taves from the New York Islanders over to the Colorado Avalanche, and the first time we had talked about it, we made a video discussing how bad of a trade this was for New York. But hey, what if I told you that this trade has gotten even worse since then? What if I told you there was a second trade that the Islanders ended up doing that completely devalued everything you got for Devon Taves, a super good, super polished, and amazing defenseman. We talked about this in the comment section of the last video. We're going to be going over all of this today again and more as we go over how the trade return is now finalized. So... The big superstar of today's conversation is indeed Devon Taves, former Islander, current Colorado Avalanche. He is a 28-year-old defender, 6'1", 192, as a left-handed guy, signed till the end of 2024, making $4.1 million a season. Man, that's a great contract, isn't it? He was initially drafted by the Islanders in the fourth round of the 2014 NHL entry draft, and by the time he had made the Islanders full-time, he was getting 28 points in 68 games played. Except, the thing is, the New York Islanders had themselves a difficult situation with their defense and their cap. You had a superstar caliber player named Matthew Barzal that needed a contract, and you had some other players on your blue line that were a bit more expensive than you would have liked, which made it a little bit difficult to try to traverse the RFAs you were going to have to deal with. Devon Taves was one of them. As a result, with the pending RFA negotiations looming over this cloud that was the Islanders and their cap situation, and the fact that nobody was getting Nick Letty for free, you ended up having to make a difficult decision or two in trading away this very Devon Taves. Now, even though Taves was not producing terribly, I mean, 28 points in 68 games is not bad in all honesty, you still had yourselves many fans around the NHL saying, yeah, no, that's a really good player. Like, underrated, he's so refined with his passing, his little quick moves on the back check is so effective at shutting down play. Devon Taves is an ultimate defender in that he's so good at forcing the opponents to make mistakes, cough the puck up, and his recovery to get the puck back and send it back the other way is impeccable. He might not be the biggest point producer in the world, but he is going out there and doing his job tenfold to the best capacity possible. It's just super unfortunate that the Islanders were in the cap predicament that they were, that they felt the need to trade this guy over to the Colorado Avalanche. Now, Upon getting traded, the Avs then signed Devon Taves to the contract, that in which he is still on today, that 4.1 AAV salary, till the end of 2024. But the trade itself, which had happened two weeks-ish earlier prior to the contract extension, went as follows. Devon Taves, the signing rights to this RFA player, was traded over to the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for a 2021 second-round pick from Colorado and a 2022 second-round pick from Colorado. That's it. Two second round picks for Devon Taves, and if we go over what Devon Taves ended up doing for the Avalanche, oh boy, it becomes embarrassing to look at. The guy had 31 points in 53 games the first season he was there. Very nice. A career high year right away in a very small amount of games played relative to the other season that he had had. And then in this most previous season, he had 57 points in 66 games, including 13 goals. This is an absolutely amazing player, and the Colorado Avalanche have themselves arguably one of the best defenders, like pure defenders, you know, defensive defenders, who also has that offensive capability in the NHL, playing alongside Akhil Makari at 15 points in 20 games in the playoffs, and there are a few comments in the previous video that we made saying, hey, if Kale McCarr just didn't exist, like, Devon Taves probably would be a legitimate Norris contender because of how good individually he is on his own. It's just playing with Kale and expanding on the offensive skill set that Kale has, allowing both of them to prosper. It's been an absolute treat. And now you have yourselves a 4.1 AAV defenseman who is under a point per game, who is so good off the puck as he is, so good defensively, so good at forcing the opposition to make mistakes, and he's here for another year. 
Meanwhile, if you go over to the second round picks that the New York Islanders received in exchange for Devontae's, the first one in 2021, guess what? The Islanders didn't even use it. They traded that pick away in the Andrew Ladd Arizona Coyotes future considerations deal, where they needed to get rid of some money. They needed to get rid of a contract that wasn't beneficial to them. So they sent away Andrew Ladd to Arizona for free. And Arizona was like, hey, you know, this is a bad contract right here. We're going to need some other stuff, like seconds and everything, to make it worth our while to get this player in the first place. And so New York was like, okay, here's one of the second-round picks we got in the Devon Taves trade. The Andrew Ladd trade with that second-round pick was done a year ago in July of 2020, and the Coyotes selected Giannis Moser, who is now an NHL defenseman for that team. So, Yeah. The New York Islanders, all they have to show for from this Devon Taves trade is the second round pick that they had used this previous draft. 65th overall from Colorado, it was a last pick in the second round, and with it, the New York Islanders selected Cali Odilius, who is, you know, he's a good prospect, I guess. He's 5'11", 185 as a left-handed defenseman, and he's on his entry-level deal after being taken at the end of the second round. He's not really a guy that I think is, like, the most projectable into becoming an NHL-caliber talent sometime down the line, but the fact that he did play with Jor Gardens in the SHL this previous season is a good sign. He's projected to playing with them in the Osvenskin this upcoming season because they were demoted in the SHL. But at the end of the day, this one individual prospect by himself, this is the return for Devon Taves, because the other pick is no longer property of the New York Islanders, nor the prospect is that was selected with that same pick. And now things are looking so bad down the line that it's like, yeah, if the New York Islanders just kept Devon Taves and they allowed him to play the way that he's playing right now in Colorado, who knows what the limit would have been for this guy. He's so talented and one of the better defensemen in the entire NHL, despite the fact that he's playing with arguably the best defenseman, period. Like, Devon Taves, man, it's so difficult to go out there and try to rationalize this trade. It's just such a big goof-up from the Islanders' perspective. There were some comments in the previous video that we made saying, like, yeah, no, Jonathan Taves, that guy, he is the other Taves now, because Devon Taves is so gosh darn good that he's kind of taken over that mantra of being the Taves in the NHL. So, talk to the comments on your thoughts. If you're a Colorado Avalanche fan, how in love are you with Devon Taves and what it is that he's able to do for your hockey team? How good... Do you think he's going to be for the next season's worth of play? Because he's got two seasons left at 4.1. If this guy goes out there and scores like 65, 70, 75 points in an NHL season, making $4.1 million and being as good as he is off the puck, like this could be one of the most beneficial, valuable contracts in the entire NHL. Bar none. And the Islanders pretty much have just one prospect taken in the second round to show for it because he traded the other pick away. Ay ay ay, it's kind of frustrating going over how lopsided some of these trades are because, hey, Colorado is such a powerhouse now that it's like, yeah, no, that trade really did help them out in the best way possible, and I don't think there would have been any other way to use two second-round picks to improve your team anymore. Like, two second-round picks for that guy? For Taves? Ay ay ay, what a steal of a trade for Colorado, eh? Talk to the comments like your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.